Hi everyone, welcome to George Crafts. Today we're going to do another jewel tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use these. These are called culottes and they are a great little piece of kit for jewellery making. They make your work look really really professional and they keep your work nice and secure. So how they work is you s they're like two little shells with a hole in the middle. So you pop your tiger tail through and it holds it on there. And then you use one of these tiny little beads. This is called a crimp bead and it's basically a small piece of metal that you squash. So I've put my culotte onto my tiger tail. I'm going to thread my crimp bead on and then with my pliers I'm going to just squash that crimp bead in place. Okay. So you should be able to see that's gone nice and flat now. And if I tip it upside down the culotte stays on the tiger tail. So then what we have to do is close our culotte. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the excess wire first and then all you gently do is just ease the culottes closed. You can use your fingers or you can use your pliers, doesn't matter which, it's just whichever is easiest for you. That's part one done. Okay. And it, it stops that crimp bead being scratchy against your skin so your jewellery is nice and comfortable to wear as well as looking professional. So I'll just thread a few beads onto my tiger tail for a piece of jewellery that I'm currently trying to design. So I've got some seed beads here, um, some little gold spacer beads. Um, some small green crystals and some gold crystals that are a bit bigger. So once I've got all of these on I will be able to pop the crimp bead and the cooler on the other side and fasten them in the same way. The good thing about tiger tail is it's nice and stiff so it almost acts like a needle. So you pick your beads up nice and easily. Just a couple more beads. And I'll be ready for my second culotte. So this is going to be part of a necklace and I'll share the instructions for the full necklace with you on the blog which is georgecrafts.co.uk for those of you who don't know. And we are also on social media. We are on Facebook at George Crafts Blog. We are on Twitter. We are on Instagram. And we are on Pinterest, so uh, have a look for us and you'll be able to find us and you'll see more of our tutorials and our projects. So, all of my beads are strung on my tiger tail. When you're working with tiger tail and you're going to put a fastening on, it's important to remember that when you, if you fix it tight, you won't get a lot of movement in your beads. 
and necklaces and bracelets aren't straight, they're curved. So just make sure you leave yourself enough space on your tiger tail for just a nice bit of give there in your necklace. So, this time we take our culotte, pop it on the tiger tail, and then take our crimp bead, pop that on. Okay. Now I like to use these curved nose pliers for this because it allows me to get right in to where I want to crimp my crimp bead. But you don't have to, you can use whatever pliers work best for you. Okay, you can use your flat nose, your, your small round nose pliers, whatever pliers you've got and whatever pliers you like to use, use the ones that work best for you. So take my pliers and gently just squash that bead again make sure you've secured it because this little crimp bead here whilst you might not see it and it's quite small it's actually the thing that stops your jewellery from just being a pile of beads on the floor Okay, so then I'm going to trim off my excess with my wire cutters and then just simply close my culotte nice and gently. Okay, if I want to give it a bit of a squeeze with my, twi with my pliers that's fine. Just make sure it's sitting nice and equal. So this is ready now to be joined up into something, so if I take a jump ring and my chain, I can never find the end of it. We'll join it onto some chain. And that would be good to build into the final necklace. There we go, this looks like the end. So, using the jump ring, we've done a little tutorial video on this as well. So, if you want to watch that, go ahead. It's on our channel. So, use a jump ring, hold it in one hand, take your other set of pliers, and twist. Loop things on. And twist it closed again. And that's all you have to do. So, a nice professional looking finish to our piece. And we can add it in to the rest of our necklace. Okay, I hope that was useful. I hope you learned something from that. Um, if you have any questions, do get in touch with me. Otherwise, I will see you again. Please subscribe to our channel and take a look at georgecrafts.co.uk for more crafty fun. Okay, take care now. Bye.